And now we would like to do our cheer for you. Who is getting us started on the cheer? You're talented, I know it's true. We'll help people hire you. Experience is what you need on the job so you'll succeed. elected officials, invited guests, and Western High School and Baltimore Polytechnic Institute students and staff. My name is Alicia Trusty, and I am the current principal of Western High School. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Western High School today. Western High School, founded on November the 1st, 1844, is the oldest all-girls public high school in the United States and is also one of Baltimore City's and the state of Maryland's most distinguished institutions of learning. A national blue ribbon school, the programs at Western High School are designed to provide opportunities for our students to develop and enhance their academic and artistic abilities. Western High School is excited to host today's Hire One Youth event. As a Baltimore City, I'm sorry, as a former Baltimore City public school student, who participated in the Blue Chip In Summer Program, which later developed into the Youth Works organization. I believe that my summer employment opportunities under the direction and supervision of the school administration at Poly helped to lay the foundation for what would become my professional career as an educator and more specifically principal of Western High School. It is encouraging to see that as a result of the continuation of the work of the city and Youth Works, that our students will continue to gain valuable skills and experiences that will carry on into their college and professional careers. Again, welcome, and we hope that you enjoy your visit with us today. Well, good morning, everyone. That didn't sound like a cheer. Good morning, everyone. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Karen Sitnik, um, Director of the Mayor's Office of Employment Development, and it's truly a pleasure to be here at Western High School. Principal, trustee, thank you so much for hosting this event today. And what can we say? The talent of these young people is overwhelming, and I think that's part of why we're all here today, because there is so much talent in the youth of Baltimore City, and uh, we want everyone and on every employer in the city to know about this talent and to take advantage of it. So today we're here to uh, unveil uh, a wonderful component called Hire One Youth of our Youth Work Summer Jobs campaign. And I have to say, I was a cheerleader, but I never did those things. They were, they were amazing. Um, so actually, the greatest cheerleader uh, for youth in the city of Baltimore, who really needs no introduction, is here today. And it's my pleasure to ask our mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, to come up. Good morning. good morning. Thank you, Karen. It is good for me and great, great for me to be back at Western High School, even though I felt a little out of place with the cheerleaders because I was in the band, in the, in the flute section, so I wasn't used to being in the, in the front, so I hope I, I hope I didn't disappoint my dance partner, Jasmine, right? I did all right? Thank you very much. Um, home of, I've forgotten also, Western High School, home of the Robo Doves, who did amazing over the weekend. I got to see them over the weekend. Are any of the Robo Doves here? Yay! I, I took my daughter uh, and our little cousin with us to the robotics competition over the weekend. Uh, so thank you very much for inspiring my daughter to be interested in robotics. Uh, partially because of all of the neat accessories that you all were passing out. So whatever it takes, she is in now interested in robotics, and I, I thank you for that. And we did really well. I was really proud. Uh, that technology and that kind of know-how will help me uh, grow Baltimore and grow industries in Baltimore. I'm also excited to be, that my alma mater is raising another generation of strong, intelligent women prepared to excel in the coming years. I want to give special thanks to Principal Trustee. Thank 
This is, I, I, I'm, I'm sure when Principal Trustee took the position, she had mixed emotions as a poly graduate to, to now be at the helm at Western. Uh, but I have to say, you know, I'm, I am thoroughly impressed uh, with your leadership and appreciate, uh, even though I know where you came from, I know where you ended up, and that's at a better position at Western. So I also want to thank the combined program uh, the band program of Western and Poly, led by Mr. Charles Strother, who I didn't see. Where is he? Is he here? All right, well, that was my band leader, believe it or not, so it was good to see him. Uh, and I want to thank... Yay! Um, I can say that you all are the ones that gave him the gray hair. He didn't have gray hair when I was here. Um, and I always, also want to thank uh, Trudy Benton for uh, your lively welcome and support, of, uh, support for the summer jobs program. It, it certainly doesn't seem that long ago to me uh, that Mr. Strother was my band instructor while I was a student here at Western. I certainly enjoyed uh, my time playing the, the flute here. I even tried the oboe for a second, but it didn't really work out for me that well. I don't uh, consider, I, I didn't consider music as a career back then, uh, but I could have done anything because career choices are wide open when you are a teenager. And in one way, that's a good feeling. But in another way, and particularly for our young people, it can be overwhelming. And that's one reason it's so vital to expose our young people to summer job experiences now so they can help determine what careers they may want to pursue in the future. Summer jobs are beneficial in so many ways. Employers have the opportunity to build tomorrow's workforce today and teach them the necessary skills to be successful. Young people learn valuable work and, uh, work and uh, develop the skills that employers require. Youth and their work experience find jobs sooner. Uh, youth that have uh, summer experience and, and prior work experience um, find jobs sooner after graduation and at higher wages. We also know that teens participating in summer jobs contribute to a safe environment for all of us who live and work in Baltimore City. For these reasons and so many more, we are gathered here today to announce our new Hire One Youth campaign and to challenge local employers to get involved by hiring young people for summer jobs in our Youth Works program. I hope you had a chance to see the Hire One Youth video uh, on your way in this morning. It shows how mutually beneficial it is for our business community, our future workforce, and our entire city uh, when young men and women are working during the summer months. So I'd like to give special recognition to Don Fry, the President and CEO of the Greater Baltimore Committee, for being such an active chairman of my Hire One Youth leadership team. Thank you very much, Don. Don is going to give some remarks shortly, but I want to thank him for doing such an excellent job in the video explaining how important it is to the city's business community to hire our city's young people and young adults through the Hire One Youth campaign. I also want to give a special thanks to my Office of Employment Development and the Baltimore City, of, Baltimore city Office of Cable and Communications for producing this video and for making it available on YouTube for all to see. I am encouraging everyone to use their social networking skills right now, except if you're students, because that'll probably get you in trouble, uh, to share the YouTube video with local businesses to encourage them to sign on as Hire One Youth employers. And I'm hoping that uh, during this whole process, as, we, as new employers come on board, we'll have a chance to, to share that news uh, using social media as well. The Hire One Youth campaign is reaching out to local businesses and organizations to encourage them to guess hire one youth. At least one 16 to 21 year old for this summer. These young workers have registered through the uh, city's Youth Works program. It's an annual summer jobs program, which is one of the most successful in the nation. Thank you very much, Karen. And despite the, uh, in the absence of uh, federal funding for summer jobs during the past decade, with the exception of the, the short-term uh, fix with the stimulus, uh, we should all be proud that our city has continued to provide at least 5,000 job opportunities for our young people over the summer. We've been able to do this thanks to combined support of local and state government funding, as well as financial contributions from foundations, individuals, and the business community. In short, we have proven 
a proven program that prepares young people and young adults for summer jobs that help launch careers at hundreds of workshops, work sites operating mutually beneficial summer programs. And I hope uh, that all of you have uh, signed up to uh, participate in the program. And while we do receive financial support from many businesses, we can and must significantly increase the amount of direct hiring by our local employers. And this is why we started and launched the Hire One Youth campaign. As we work to grow Baltimore by 10,000 families over the next 10 years, everyone has to pitch in, in the home, at church, in the neighborhood, at work, at school. Uh, during these tough times, we all have to work together to strengthen community bonds, to build social capital, and increase citizen engagement. We know at the center of any growing city uh, is not only a smart and responsive government, but a strong society. In fact, President Obama recently announced uh, his Summer Jobs Plus initiative to encourage businesses to hire young people and give them work experience. And in his words, America's young people face a record unemployment, and we need to do everything we can to make sure that they have the skills and the opportunity to earn the skills and a work ethic that comes with a job. It is important for their future, and it is important for America's future. And here in Baltimore City, we have amassed a very impressive group of business leaders to, um, to comprise the Hire One Youth leadership team. They've agreed to support this effort by reaching out to their colleagues, and they've already started uh, prior to this kickoff. And we're challenging the, their colleagues to interview, select, and hire at least one young person to join their team for the summer. And we've made it clear that we're not asking them to do this for charitable reasons. We've asked them to embrace their role as influential leaders who can make a positive impact on our city's workforce and our city's economy. Be because we know when Baltimore citizens work, the city works and will grow into the place that we know, all know it can be. So Hire One Youth is a vehicle to make the Youth Works 2012 the best summer program we've ever had in the city, and we're off to a good start. Thus far, the 2010 Hire One Youth campaign has secured commitments from 42 businesses, and that's a total of 143 summer positions. We are making progress, but we need to go further, and we will. Any employer here today that would like to commit to hire one youth, anybody, anybody, uh, can do so by visiting the YouthWorks table and signing up right here, or go to baltimorecity.gov and complete the online form. I would be remiss if I did not mention the strong support from our local government. Many of you are here today. Departments and city council offices have responded to my appeal by committed to committing to hire more than 275 young people this summer. This means we're off to a great start. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the Hire One Youth Chair, a valuable city partner who has accepted his role with a focused enthusiasm as he will update you on the leadership team's progress. Please welcome GBC's Don Fry. Thank you much, Madam Mayor. Uh, we certainly have a great mayor, don't we? I'd like to, I'd like to thank the mayor for the bold vision uh, of the Hire One Youth Program uh, and also thank her for challenging the local business community to step up and provide career aspiring young people an insight into business operations and their particular career study. Uh, I think that this is a tremendous effort and one that the business community fully embraces. A couple years ago, the Greater Baltimore Committee, very good timing. A couple years ago, the Greater Baltimore Committee produced a report called Gaining the Competitive Edge, Core Pillars for Competitive a business environment and job creation. And one of the key pillars of that was a workforce that's highly educated and meets business needs. And I think that's exactly what the Hire One Youth program does. And I think it's a great opportunity for all of us. For business, it's as close to actual hiring as you can get. Uh, the applicants are vetted. There's 12 hours of training. There's, you get a chance to interview and select the person that's gonna work for you. Uh, they have to abide by the rules of the company as they would as a normal employee, and there's follow-up counseling and training throughout the program. Uh, the businesses get to see the future of our workforce, and I think the young people get an opportunity to see what needs to be done to be successful in business as they move forward in their career. So it truly is a win-win uh, for all involved, and that's why I think it's so important for the business community to step up as we move forward. 
The mayor has assembled a strong leadership team, and I'd like to introduce those who are with us today. Uh, first of all, Bill Jews is with us. Bill, if you will please stand. Sandy Hillman. <laughs> Sandy Hillman of Sandy Hillman Communications. Dick Himmelfarb, Stephen Nicholas. <laughs> Andy Bertamini, Wells Far well Fargo. These and other individuals are stepping forward. Also, I'd like to recognize Mark Bailey. Mark, if you'd step up. Mark, Mark, is, uh, Mark is with Mercy Hospital, and they have done a tremendous effort and done everything and anything uh, that has been asked of them in this process. So please uh, join me again in giving each of them a great round of applause for their efforts as we move forward. As the mayor stated, we have a lot of work that we have done. Uh, we've been successful in getting a number of people already signed up, but there's a lot more work to do. Uh, good news is that we have representatives of the leadership team who are working very hard on that already. Gail Smith Howard of Hyatt uh, has reached out to visit Baltimore, our tourism arm for Baltimore, and they're going to be holding a job fair, career fair, uh, in late April, and they have committed to hiring 100 youth during the summer through the Hire One Youth program. Uh, Andy Bertamini at Wells Fargo, who we recognize, is going to be assembling a career orientation and also job fair with area banks. So people who are interested in working in the banking industry get a chance to learn a little bit what's involved, and then also people have a chance to interview uh, those young people who are interested in that field. Uh, Kevin Johnson of Commercial Interiors is reaching out to the construction industry, an industry that's very important for our economic growth and prosperity, and they're going to be holding a job fair also in early May. And then, of course, Sandy Hillman, who has been active in youth programs in Baltimore City uh, from days when she worked in the mayor's office, is also going to assemble an opportunity for people who are involved in communications to meet with our local media, to meet with those companies who are involved in public relations, and try to uh, assist you in finding opportunities there during the summer as well. Uh, much more needs to be done, uh, much more will be done, but I encourage all those businesses who are here today and other businesses we reach out that this is the time to step up. This is the time that we can show uh, what the business community is looking for from our youth, and this is a time for us to see what the youth have to hold for us in the future. And I'm sure that if we work together, this truly will be that win-win opportunity for the city of Baltimore, and we'll make this Hire One Youth program very successful for the mayor and the mayor's office of employment development. Thank you very much. At Western High School, we challenge our students to develop academically, encourage them to become actively involved in the community, and also foster develop the development excuse me, of school and community leadership among our students. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you Rachel Madison, who is an ex amazing example of our work here at Western High School. Currently, Rachel is a senior student ranked number 31 in her class of 204 students. She is enrolled in a very rigorous course load that includes several honors and four, four advanced placement AP courses. They are AP English Literature, AP Biology, AP Statistics, and AP Calculus. In previous years, Rachel has also taken four additional AP courses and 11 honors level courses. Rachel is highly respected among her peers and the staff at Western High School. On a daily basis, she exemplifies quiet dignity, which is one of our school slogans, with her gentleness, uniqueness, and poise. Always respectful to others, Rachel can be counted on to share her thoughtful viewpoint and also make contributions in a manner that displays integrity and responsibility. Please join me at this time in welcoming Rachel Madison to the podium. Good morning, Mayor Rawlings-Blake, members of the administration, special guests, and invited students. My name is Rachel Madison, and I'm a senior at Western High School. When I reflect on my experience at Western, I am most proud of the opportunities that the school has provided for me to gain practical knowledge outside the classroom. My first internship was with a program called Law Links, where interns were given the opportunity to shadow lawyers, following them to court, working with them in their office, and getting the overall sense of what it means to be a part of corporate America. YouthWorks provided the finances that allowed me to work at this law firm. After my first internship with Law Links, I was one of few interns who were asked to stay at their designated law firm. 
My part-time job was at the law offices of Arnold M. Weiner and Fisher and Winner. Youth Works, a summer employment organization for city youth ages 14 to 21, set the foundation of what was to come for me. During the summer of 2011, I was able to obtain my second internship with the Johns Hopkins Brain Science Institute program. Although this program was not a part of YouthWorks, the program director let me know that it was because of my work experience with YouthWorks that I appealed to her. After the internship was over, I was asked to stay as a part-time employee at the Kennedy Krieger Institute in Baltimore, Maryland. My new supervisor was also attracted to my employment with YouthWorks. Today, I still keep in touch with my YouthWorks family and make the effort to visit them. I am forever grateful for the opportunity that YouthWorks gave me to work with some of the most influential lawyers and paralegals in the state. Using my YouthWorks experience, I shall remain fortunate, humble, and appreciative as I continue on my road to success. So who wants to hire Rachel? I would think everybody. <laughs> um, thank you, Rachel, and, and you did a wonderful job really demonstrating um, the, uh, the intelligence and the poise and the maturity that so many of Baltimore City's young people have. And that's why the Hire One Youth campaign is going to be successful because of young people like Rachel and because of the companies that are here today and our leadership team and of course because of our mayor. So um, thank you all for joining us. I don't know if there's any questions from the press. If there's not, um, just leave you with hire at least one youth. It's gonna be a great summer here in Baltimore. And thank you all for coming. There is a video, we're gonna put it back on. If you haven't seen it um, and you wanna stay, you can watch it, or as the mayor said, it's actually on YouTube. So um, thanks again and have a great day.